Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. You see the leaves on the trees behind me? They've started to change colors, guys. It's the first day of October. And so you know what that means. It is Blogtober. So for every day, Monday through Friday, you will receive an, um, a video upload from me, Wani at Wani's house, pertaining to something whatever I'm doing around the house. It could be Christmas inspiration, Christmas DIYs, fall inspiration. You know what? <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. Fall inspiration. It could be cooking videos. We might even do a couple of lives. So I want to make sure that you know that you can catch me over here at Wani's house every day Monday through Friday around the same time around five or six o'clock and I may even throw in a video on the weekend have a couple of collaborations coming up so make sure you're there and you don't miss it all right guys before I'm photobombed again on to today's video For this video, I'm going to share with you how you can update your home for fall for $60. Just adding a couple of key pieces can definitely change the look of your room as well as the feel of your room. So you guys know I first switched out all of my furniture. I switch things around all the time and I think that is one thing that you can do to change the look of your home for nothing. Then you see here, I am adding this beautiful throw blanket. I picked this up from Ross. This blank throw blanket was $12. It has beautiful hues of black, um, a burnt orange, some grays, really nice, very comfortable and cozy. So now I am adding these pillows. Throw pillows are another inexpensive accent that you can add to update the look of your space. These throw pillows, the they're actually the pillow covers were from Amazon. I've had them for several years now and I like to use my items over and over again. Just use them in different spaces and use them differently. So I placed the two. These are like 16 by 16 pillows on both of the twins and as you can see i have them because they coordinate with the ottomans that i have now i recently shared with you these faux leather um pillows that i picked up from amazon um if you're interested in these pillows they will be listed down in my amazon store listed down below but i love these pillows they are um, 12 by 20 lumbar pillows and I picked the, the pillow covers up from Amazon. Now I am absolutely enjoying the look of this already but you know we're going to have to take this up a notch. Now when I started designing this area I knew that there were some pieces that I had to work with. I wanted to keep the ottomans here because when we're watching television down here not only do I might want to place a tray here for us to eat off of and nosh off of but I we like to prop our feet up and so now when creating this space I knew that I needed to have something on this table here that would be a wow factor and so I shared with you how I put together this beautiful floor arrangement inside this ginger jar. I use beautiful hues of coral in the eucalyptus, some cream, some browns and it looks amazing in this space. So a lot of you guys always ask me when I use this table where did I get it from? It is actually a C table that was purchased from um, 
Burlington's and then the top of it is a tray. You know, I'm a big proponent on using what you have and using it differently. And that is how I created this really cute little table and it's strong and sturdy. Um, enough for me to put a couple of little items on here like this adorable acorn that I picked up from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and then I am going to just kind of arrange that now a lot of times when you create vignettes regardless of how you create them using old and new things you're gonna have to play around with the items and so I wanted you to really take notice of how the chairs look and they're not identical i did that purposely because i wanted there to be some type of uniqueness to the area and so right here i'm going to put this little led candle inside this candle holder that was picked up from the dollar tree guys those candle holders were absolutely beautiful your girl should have picked up more than just one so i'm still on the lookout for that it is a cute little candle holder sitting on a gold stand looks more like it would have cost about ten dollars instead of one dollar now i shared with you this magazine rack here and i picked this up from the at home store now you can have your magazines in here or you can have like backup throws so i put this here because if someone else wanted to throw and they're sitting in the other chair to reach down and pick it up now this i will also have a link to a similar looking magazine rack down in my amazon store if you don't want to go to the at home store you don't have one near you you can get that from on my in my amazon store and i just really wanted to show you guys how you can create a beautiful space using no money sixty dollars so my sixty dollars consisted of the $12 throw, the $12 um, faux leather pillow covers, as well as the um, faux leather magazine rack. You can also put in some florals in there, and that's about $60. Now, it's how you arrange all the things that really make your look cohesive and make it flow. You find something that really wows you. My wow thing for my space, I think, are this DIY um, floral arrangement, but it is also my something special is bringing in the elements of the faux leather as well as having the magazine rack. You want something unexpected. No one is expecting that. And I love this entire look. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I gave you some tips, some clues or some nuggets on ways that you can update your space, not only for fall, but for any season for $60, $60 and you can totally transform your space. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. Also come on over and check me out on my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's house, just like it is here. Hit that follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. Also, guys, don't forget the items that I mentioned. You'll be able to find them or something similar down in my Amazon store. So I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.